everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a necklace collection. I did originally want to do a whole jewellery collection, but to be honest, I don't actually have that much jewellery. I have this one Pandora bracelet which I'm wearing in today's video, and I have four rings in total. And I have a lot of necklaces, so I want to just mostly focus on the necklaces. I have some gold, I have some silver, but they're all kind of different. I have quite ex some expensive jewellery. But I also have kind of like more affordable jewellery that I've just got from Depop and things like that. Especially my gold jewellery, I have a lot less. And as you can tell, it's all kind of decorative. It's not necessarily expensive or upper class jewellery. But I just wanted to talk through the pieces that I have anyway. So let's get right on into it. Starting with my more affordable silver jewellery, which I keep on this standing lady. I also have my um, standing lady here that has my gold affordable jewellery. I like to keep my more expensive stuff in their bags because it feels more special taking them out of their bag and I feel like they're more protected that way rather than out on display. The first necklace that I'm showing you guys is this gorgeous Tree of Life necklace. The chain itself is silver but the actual pendant is white and it goes with pretty much any outfit. I wear it to dress up, I can wear it to dress down, so I just like the fact that it's really multifunctional. And I do prefer more simplistic jewellery. I feel like it can go with any outfit and I don't like stuff that's too out there. But it is quite a bigger pendant than I am used to. Sticking to the Tree of Life theme, I also have this necklace. As you can tell, the chain is a lot shorter so it comes up quite higher. So I don't really like to wear like, low cut tops when the chain is this short. I don't know why, but I do really, really like this necklace. And as you can tell, the chain is almost white and the pendant is silver. Um, so I guess you could swap out these two. You could have the white pendant on the whiter chain and this on the silver one. But I don't know, I kind of like them together and I think this is really, really pretty. I am absolutely in love with the colour of this necklace. I think it's such a gorgeous blue and I do wear it with quite a lot of clothes like even though this obviously has colour to it I can wear it with quite a lot of things and it's basically just a moon silver and then it's got like kind of like a galaxy hanging off of it and I just think it's really really pretty I think this necklace only costs like £3.49 for the life of me I can't remember where it was from but I will try and find out for you but I just think it's so pretty and I get the most compliments on this necklace like Compared to my other expensive jewellery, yeah, I definitely get the most compliments on this and it's one of the most affordable. And once again, I feel like you can wear this pretty much with any outfit because it's so pretty, you could wear it to dress up. But I also, I think I wore it a few days ago actually and I wore it with just like a black jumper. And yeah, it really goes with black as you can tell, but I just wore it with like a black hoodie and it still looked just as good. So yeah, again, you can wear it with pretty much anything. And the chain is also a lot longer and it's also got one hole that you can um, clip so you can't really adjust it but I think it hangs at the perfect length. Also I forgot to say about the um, like moon and galaxy necklace that I've actually had this necklace for maybe five years? Four or five years and there's literally no tarnish to it whatsoever. I mean on the back I guess you could say there is some sort of discolour. If I show you guys now, there is some sort of discolour, but honestly, I literally have never noticed that until I pointed it out in this video. And you can tell there's no sort of tarnish on the front. Here I have another really simple necklace. It's just a silver heart and it's got a little jewel at the bottom. Obviously not real, but I really like this necklace. And again, I just, I think silver jewellery I find more wearable just because... I feel like it's not as dressy and I'm much more simplistic when it comes to jewellery. So I really, really like this and I've had this since I was like 8 years old and I'm 18 now, so 10 years. Never ever noticed any sort of difference, any sort of tarnish. I'll try and find out where these necklaces are from, but I've had quite a lot of these necklaces for a really long time. So I may not be able to find the exact link, but I will say um, my, my gold jewellery especially a lot i think all of it is from depop so definitely check out jewelry on depop because it's much more affordable this necklace is simply just a nike tick in a circle this is definitely one of my much more casual because even though i have more basic jewelry they're kind of pretty whereas i feel like this is more not necessarily pretty it's just like a really nice piece to wear it's kind of like a standout piece i don't even know if i'm wearing this the right way around i get really confused because when i put it on in the mirror i'm like oh the tick's the right way around but i think it flips okay i'm just gonna switch it over just in case i am being an idiot wearing it the wrong way around oh my gosh for a second i thought i literally just put it on the exact same way around 
I don't know. I probably I probably got it wrong again. But anyway. So yeah, this is just a Nike tick. Super, super simple. Very, very casual. But I think, again, that's something else that makes it a very wearable necklace and a very wearable piece. Because if you feel like you just want to wear something around your neck, just to, like spice up your outfit a bit, just throw this on and again it will pretty much go with anything i'd say this is one of my more standout pieces i don't really wear anything that's this big and obviously it's got jewels all the way around the heart so it's very much prettier than what i usually wear but i would also say that i wear it less because of how big it is i usually wear it with when i'm going out for like meals and stuff which obviously i haven't done forever and i haven't really done during a levels anyway but yeah, it's something that I wear less, but I do definitely want to wear it more because I still think that it's very, very pretty, but it's just not as wearable as the other pieces that I have just because of the sizing. And again, it's not something that I'm used to or something that I'm really comfortable with. I feel like I'm more out there when I wear bigger pieces, but yeah, I've definitely worn it for meals out before. And I do think that it's very, very pretty and it is something that I'm intending on wearing more often. I also think I do actually have the original packaging for this, so I think I will be able to link this down in the description below. So I think there will be some links, but I can't promise all of them. The next more affordable piece is this like choker chain necklace. And this is something that I regularly like wear, or it's not really something that I would choose for myself. This necklace was actually purchased for me, but I kind of really like the style of it. You can, I think I put it too tight around my neck to be honest. You can actually like loosen it, um, so I'll probably do that now because I'm literally choking myself. I don't know, I never really know what kind of like outfits to wear with this and I just assume because this is like a low cut you should wear a more like dangling hanging piece, but I think this actually really suits my outfit. So yeah, I guess you could say that this is also multifunctional and you can wear it with anything. And I still think it's pretty, like even though that's not really its intention, I do think it's like a pretty piece. Because right now I'm wearing a top that you kind of wear like out for dinner. And yeah, it does add to the outfit. The next piece that I'm just picking out is very, very similar to the piece that I've just worn. But it's a lot more glam. And again, this was purchased for me. And again, not something that I would particularly wear. As you can tell the theme, I kind of like more hanging simplistic stuff. This is very blingy. And what I actually like about this necklace, well, chain, is that it's adjustable. If you can tell, you just hold and you can like tighten and loosen it, which I think is really, really, really good. And also you could just clip it off here to put it in more easily. Put it in, put it on. I really, really like this chain. I think it's actually really, really pretty. And although it's not really my style, I still think that it is gorgeous. And I love it, it fits so perfectly. And the only issue with the other one that I put on is simply that you have to keep like clipping it to get like the right hole. And it's quite small and quite fiddly, so it is hard to put on. But with this, if I find it too tight, I can literally just pull at it. And then the bee will kind of just drag out to like loosen the necklace around your neck. But I really, really like this. And I think, again, it's a necklace that you can wear, even though it's got jewels in it and it is quite flashy. Um, you could wear it out for a nice meal but you could also wear it just casually inside. It will like going to meet your friends and stuff because it is a really pretty standout piece, but I wouldn't say that it's too in your face. It's not like huge and chunky. Now I'm delving into my more expensive silver jewelry. So the first necklace that I'm just gonna show you is from Warren James. And this is a piece that replicates necklace in Titanic. If you remember that massive blue necklace that Rose wore in Titanic, um, this is kind of like a simplified piece of that and I didn't purchase this myself I did get it from my boyfriend and I remember when he was telling me like hinting at what it was going to be he was like oh you know the blue necklace in Titanic and I was like um yeah because even though it was like gorgeous it was huge and as you can tell that's not really my style but this is very much a simplified version of the Titanic necklace this necklace is absolutely stunning it's a deep blue and it's made from Swarovski. Oh my god, I literally can't even say that word. Swarovski. Swarovski Chris. Basically, I think you guys know what I mean, but it's also um, written crystals from Swarovski. Swarovski. <laughs> I'm literally going to end this video and I'm, it's going to come to my head and I'm going to be like, that's how you say it. But anyway, it's an absolutely gorgeous piece and I wear it for only special occasions just because I'm so in love with it. 
Um, I can link this down in the description below because I know um, it's from Warren James, so I know the site and stuff. But I'll try this on for you guys now. But like I said, I only wear it for special occasions. I've worn it for like anniversaries. Um, I wore it at my 18th birthday party just because I don't want to ruin it. So this is the necklace. It's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, this makes me happy. But yeah, it's literally so pretty. Um, for some reason, when I originally saw it in the box when I was given to me, I was like, oh, that's going to come out quite big. But as you can tell, it's really, really small, really, really simple and really beautiful. And yeah, it's just a heart shape. And then it's got like a little jewel dotted in the middle of the deep blue. So yeah, it's stunning. And I wish I could wear this more often. I'm just terrified. Like, I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but when they get expensive jewellery, they just never want to put it on because of <laughs> how expensive it is. This piece was from Tiger Lily. Again, this isn't something that I purchased myself. It was given to me for my 18th birthday. And it came in this little box. It's also stunning. It's like a lilac colour. Also, if you guys are interested, this is actually an amethyst. And if you guys know about quartz, it's actually the purple variety of quartz. And this necklace, like when you wear it, it's supposed to be like healing and calming. And it also promotes like peace and balance. It's also a symbol of personal empowerment and inner strength. So very powerful, very feminist. But yeah, I don't necessarily believe in like um these sort of things but i do absolutely love the message behind it and i feel like you feel more special like wearing a necklace that has some sort of meaning behind it and i feel like you psychologically feel those things like i definitely feel calm looking at this necklace because of how pretty it is but yeah i really like necklaces that have a message so i especially love this one because of the little story behind it and what it promotes and what it symbolizes so i think that's just a really sweet idea my last expensive piece, um, I'm not actually sure where this is from, um, so I will try and find out, but I know that it was purchased in London. Oh, I'm going to drop the box. It comes in this box and when you open it inside, it is gorgeous. You can tell it's very upper class. Sorry, the lighting isn't really helping, but there are just these two angel wings with um, jewels at the top of them which is absolutely stunning. And then if you can tell, there's also detail on the chain of like little silver balls, which I think is extra beautiful. And this was purchased in London. It says on the box, um, Byzantium collection. So sorry if that's not how you correctly pronounce it. So I will try and find out where this is from, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And I actually wore this necklace to prom. Um, I got this when I was 16, so yeah, that year I wore it to prom. And again, it's another necklace that I don't wear as regularly just because of how stunning it is. But it's again, one of my favorites, which doesn't really like show that because I don't wear it very regularly. But I think it's absolutely beautiful and you can tell, you can see the silver balls going all up and down the chain. Here is the necklace up close. I don't know if you can see like the little balls now. And yeah, this gorgeous angel wing detail is stunning and then the little jewels at the top but yeah this necklace is so so pretty and i love it so much i just wish i could wear it more regularly i need to go out more i need to go to fancy restaurants more so i have an excuse to wear these pieces and every time i put this on it just reminds me of prom and getting all dressed up and feeling beautiful so I really like the memory behind this necklace. Finally, we are moving on to the gold pieces. Um, I have had the jewellery for a shorter amount of time, but um, so far so good. <laughs> um, I will say that I am looking to get more um, expensive gold jewellery. And like, I, I really like like the vintage um, gold. So the first necklace that I have is this baby necklace. And I think it's just super cute. Like, stuff that says like baby baby girl i just think yeah it's just adorable um and it's also like a statement piece when you have like writing on the necklace i find it looks stunning with black black and gold oh such a gorgeous combination it's unbelievable but yeah i think this is really really adorable and yeah and go with pretty much any outfit because it just says baby um i guess baby's like a slang term <laughs> um yeah, you can wear it with like more casual things and it's very cute, 
very wearable and you can also dress it up because I feel like gold is very easy to dress up like you can put anything gold on you and it'll look like you've made an effort I don't really have an eye for layering but I found this really nice already layered necklace on Depop so I actually asked for it for Christmas time just because I wanted to wear something that was layered I really like the style of layering necklaces but like I said I'm just I don't really I'm not really good at looking out for like short chains, medium, long chains and thinking, yeah, they'd work together. I'm just a bit like, can I just have them all together? Can you just style it for me? That'd be so much easier. The only downside I would say about having pre-layered um, jewellery is the fact that it tangles so easily. It'll literally be hanging on my standing lady and it will tangle. I won't even have to do anything to it. Um, so try and put this on. Is annoying I, I would say that's maybe why I wear it less um, but I would also say that even though I haven't worn it that often that you can tell that this is already starting to rust um, but like I said it's Depop jewelry it is more affordable but um, I wouldn't I don't think that would turn me away um, if that makes sense because everything else about it is perfect and you're not gonna see this because it's gonna be at the back of your neck I've moved a bit closer because there's quite a lot going on and I want you guys to be able to see but at the top is just a gold chain and then there are dots of gold evenly spread across. It's kind of like a choker. Further down, we've got another necklace that just says baby girl written on it. Again, also very, very adorable. I think I'm wearing it the wrong way around. But honestly, this necklace was so tangly, I can't be bothered to swap it over. I'm very sorry, but it says baby girl. <laughs> and then we've got another necklace. And then further down, I've got a tiny little baby lock. Again, also very, very cute and adorable. And then even further down, there's the actual lock. And I just really, really like this. I really like the fact, oh, my bra. But I really, really like the fact that you can, I don't know, it's all just joined together. I just, I thought it would make my life easier. But then again, it being tangled is an inconvenience. But I still think that it looks really, really pretty. And yeah, gold layered, layered? <laughs> gold layered jewelry really is something else. I just think it's very, very pretty. Um, I just love the style of it and it is definitely something that I want to do maybe create my own layers I've seen a lot of youtubers you know they buy necklaces from random different places and then they co-join together to make really pretty layers and um I would love to do that this necklace is also from Depop also in gold and it has a Louis Vuitton symbol on it but it is on fire um this is obviously fake Louis Vuitton not real not genuine but if you really like like the Louis Vuitton logo, which I do, um, this is just like a really nice idea, a really nice alternative, and it's not harming anyone. So yeah, I really like the style to this. It's quite like a funky, like edgy style. It just sounds so cringy saying edgy, but it's kind of like an edgy style. It's not necessarily like a pretty necklace, but it's quite like cool. It's kind of like the Nike one. It reminds me a lot to the Nike one. You can wear it casually, but like I said, I feel like gold makes things look more dressy so i feel like this looks so much more dressy than the silver nike necklace i don't know what your guys' opinions are but i just get that vibe it's really easy to wear really simple and it's kind of cool with like the louis vuitton on fire finally i have this two heart necklace the top one is gold and then we've got a silver um one with some fake jewels in it um and i really really like this i like this kind of gold like i don't know the difference Maybe this is like a yellowy gold, um, but I prefer like this type of gold. I just feel like it's like darker and I don't know. But I'm gonna put this on for you now. Again, it's something that's really pretty, but something that is also simple. I wore this to school quite a lot. A lot of these necklaces I actually wore to school, like the more discreet ones. Um, I just think it really adds to your outfit. Um, I think the chain can go lower than this. I think I've done it quite high. But um, yeah, it's also an adjustable chain, which is very, very convenient. I've had this necklace for, I don't even know how many years. It's like one of the first necklaces I ever had. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it literally looks like there's been no wear to it. And again, this was also a very affordable necklace. So just because it's more affordable, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, you know, cheap and cheerful. Um, it will obviously tarnish quicker the more expensive jewellery, well, as you'd think. But quicker doesn't necessarily mean in a few weeks. I've had this for, I think, like 10, 11 years. And there's no kind of, like, visible tarnish on it. So, yeah, you're paying, like, a really small price, like, under £10. Some of this jewellery is. 
and you'll get to wear it for like 10, 15, God knows how many years this will last. Yeah, just because it's more affordable, don't necessarily turn away from it. The majority of my things, apart from like three things, are more affordable jewellery. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my jewellery collection. Um, I've loved watching necklace collections before. Um, I never ended up buying any of them because I can't afford them. But this is definitely more affordable. I'm so sorry. I don't think I will be able to link like the majority of this stuff because I've had it for so long. But the whole point in this video, I guess, is just to give you guys ideas on what jewellery you could wear, what could potentially suit you. And the fact that don't shy away from affordable jewellery, it's still stunning. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next Friday. For even more videos, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week. Mwah. <laughs>